Hey everybody, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. On my channel, I like to bring you the best tips and tools for creating beautiful home decor on a budget. Today, I am participating in Heidi San Bull's DIY challenge with a coastal or summer theme. So, I hope you enjoy the three DIYs that I have for you today. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. And everybody, please give this video a big thumbs up. For my first project, I'm using one of these round mirrors from Dollar Tree, these giant craft sticks from Walmart's craft section, and these four different colors of Waverly chalk paint. The first thing I'm going to do is take about 20 of these giant craft sticks that are 10 inches long, and I'm going to cut them in half at five inches. I'm going to do this until I have about 40 pieces. If you don't have these giant craft sticks, you could use um, paint sticks or something else that you have on hand. With my 40 pieces, I divided them up into five different piles, so about eight pieces. I'm going to do antique wax, pool blue, white, mineral gray, and leave the other pile of eight just the plain natural wood color. So here you can see my different sticks that I have painted. And then I'm going to flip over the mirror and remove the mirror and the backing and give my mirror frame a kind of a rough rustic coat of my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. After returning the mirror inside the frame, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to start placing the half craft sticks around the mirror. I'm hot gluing the rounded end to the back of the mirror. I'm starting with uh, north, south, east, and west. And then I will put randomly different color sticks in between those and just keep going until I have about 32 of these sticks glued all around the mirror. And I did, I can kind of tell what color paint is on the front. So I'm not really doing a pattern, but I'm just trying to not have two sticks of the same color right next to each other. So here you can see I'm doing the second set of four to then have eight sticks. Then I'll go in between all of those to make 16. And then between all of those to do 32. So here's with the 16 sticks and then doing more on the back to have all 32 just randomly. I did decide to add this nautical rope. I'm just hot gluing it around the outside of the frame just to give a little bit more of a coastal or nautical beach look to this piece. So here's what our finished beach mirror looks like. You can 
hang a string on the back or just hang it on a nail. For my second project, I'm using a terracotta pot, this glass candle dish from Dollar Tree, some shells, some jute twine, this blue spray paint, and one of these nautical wood shapes from Dollar Tree. The first thing I'm going to do is give both my pot and the underside of the glass candle dish a coat of this blue satin spray paint from Walmart. It is Rust-Oleum brand. And then I decided to take my mineral colored Waverly chalk paint and just give some brush strokes to kind of weather the look of both the pot and the glass candle dish. Once these two pieces are completely dry, I'm going to take my Fix-All adhesive from Dollar Tree and I'm going to dot the adhesive around the highest part of the pot and then turn it upside down on the bottom side of the glass candle plate. I will leave this to dry for at least a couple of hours. Now I decided I didn't like how the top of this looked, so again I'm taking some of my nautical rope and I'm going to just start coiling it from the outside until I work my way all the way to the center. Now here you'll see I'm starting out with again the fix all adhesive, but I really didn't like um, that it was taking a while to dry. So even though I start with the fix all adhesive, I'm gonna actually go back in with my Gorilla Mini Hot Glue Gun and my Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks until I get this rope secured around the outside there and then coiled up all the way to the center. And here's what it looks like with the rope all the way on the top. I also decided to add one piece of rope going around the edge or the lip of the jar as well, just to kind of bring in that rope from the top to the bottom or front of the project. Next, I decided to take one of these wood shapes from the Crafter Square section. I decided to go with the anchor and I'm just going to hot glue this to the side of the pot to also kind of cover up the little gap where my nautical rope comes together. I decided to just go ahead and leave this the natural wood color. Of course, you could paint it if you wanted to bring in another color to the piece. And then the rest of this project really is just placing a candle on top and then decorating around the candle with some shells that I had on hand. Um, I had originally shown some rocks. You could do rocks as well. You could actually even glue rocks to the top of this candle dish if you wanted instead of the nautical rope. And here's my finished nautical coastal beachy candle holder. I really love how this turned out. And for my third project, I'm using one of these wedding arrow signs. Again, some shells and some different paint 
from my stash, I am also going to use some jute twine. So the first thing I'm doing here, if you haven't seen these, that middle leg kind of goes back to make this stand up. I didn't want to paint the legs, so I just put one little piece of painter's tape across there so that I didn't get any of this paint on the legs. Now here you'll see I'm using a navy blue acrylic paint from Craftsmart just because I don't have a chalk paint this dark blue and I wanted to use some other blues in these three projects. So it did take three coats of this acrylic paint in order to completely cover the word ceremony on the front of the arrow um, so that it was just solidly covered. Then I thought it was really dark so I decided to take this other color from Michaels. It's called Pool Blue and I started out I was just gonna go around the edges of the arrow just to kind of give it um, kind of a brushed look but um, I end up kind of doing a dry brush of this color over the entire navy blue and this is just usually how my DIYs go where I start with an idea and then it morphs many times during the course of the project. So here I have the pool blue over the navy and then I decided I wanted to bring in some of my mineral chalk paint color just until I got this looking how I wanted with all three of these colors kind of blended together. So I love how the paint turned out on this, but I thought it was still looking a little plain. So this time I decided to take some of my jute twine and just do one um, row of it around the edges of this arrow sign. So here you can see one section at a time. I'm doing a little line of hot glue and then attaching the jute twine to it until I get all the way around my arrow sign. Once I had the jute twine all the way around, I decided I wanted to use a few of these smaller shells just kind of at the bottom on both the left and the right side of the sign. So I'm just placing those here and then I will hot glue those with my Gorilla Hot Glue. And the last step for this project was to take my white Elmer's paint marker from Walmart and I'm going to just free write the word relax on here and then you'll see once that is dried I kind of go over it and make the word thicker and that is the completion of this third project. I think it's so cute it could go up on a shelf or on the counter. And here again are all three of my projects for this coastal DIY challenge. Please let me know in the comments which one of these was your favorite. And I do have a beach decor DIY playlist. I will list this here. You can click on it and see my other beach decor DIYs. Please make sure you check out the playlist in the description to see the other wonderful videos in this challenge. Thank you. Bye.